It's a wonderful afternoon, very powerful and awesome day. And we're having a wonderful season. I would say we're having a, a festive season. And God is awesome. God is mighty to perform his wonderful work upon this earth. We, we want to talk on a topic today, the mystery of the forever God, mystery of the ages, the God of all time, the God of this universe, and the God of all universe. I want to speak on this topic, the mystery of the forever time. All of us know that God is awesome, he is untouchable, he is unremovable, and there is no weapon that formed against God shall be able to prosper. And that is a fact. And if you go to university or not, you should know that God is untouchable. We're going through a season with Corona. And Corona is destroying the world. I call it a, a disease that comes from mankind. COVID-19. And all of us Jamaican and people around the world have to rush to take the vaccine to save the life. To save the life of your daughters, your son, your father, your families. But I'm saying to you, God is powerful than the vaccine. God is powerful than COVID-19. All of us preachers, pastors, prophets who brag and speak about our Jesus, we speak about our blood of Jesus can save us, can defend us. The blood of Jesus was shed on the cross to save us from our sins. And, and we hype so much about the blood of Jesus. But today I want to tell you, where is the church with the blood of Jesus? COVID-19 killing people east, west, north, south and center. These pastors not running out and bragging about the blood of Jesus. They keep their mouth shut, they lock the church, and they're home drinking coffee. Where is the blood of Jesus today? Where is God's chosen generation? Where is God's chosen people? Who have the power through the blood of Jesus to destroy every weapon of warfare that will come against the nation? A prophet tell you before, and this prophet, prophet Rodel Rowe, gonna tell you again: the blood of Jesus work with penalties; it work with sacrifice, and it's a manipulating system from the pit of hell. For the fact you should know that Jesus can't die; the real Jesus can't die, and the real Jesus don't have no blood to shed on any cross. So all of you have been manipulated, and that's why I'm hundred percent with Muta Baruka, one of the powerfulest men on this planet. He's a great man. Muta, wherever you are, I'm praying for you and your family. You are a strong man. You, you keep the courage. You push further ahead of life. And you are a great man. So Muta, I thumbs you up for what you're doing to Jamaica and let them know the knowledge that you have within you. But I'm, I want to tell you, Stick with the power of God. Stick with the presence of God. Because every time you plead the blood of Jesus over your life, you plead in sacrifice over your family. Because the blood of Jesus works with sacrifice. And all of us Christian people are destroying the power of God upon this earth because all of us have been manipulated. The angels of God are angry. The angels of God are disappointed. Every time you speak something bad against God, the angels of God erupt to destroy you and to punish you. Because if you said God die, the angels of God immediately get angry with you because God truly cannot die. 
The moment you said you were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, the angels of God immediately come against you because you surely didn't born in sin and shape in iniquity. You were marvelous. You were born in the image and likeness of our Father. You are peculiar. You didn't bought by no price. God didn't buy you by no price. God released you as a chosen vessel upon this earth for a mighty purpose. And no weapon that's supposed to come against you, every weapon that come against you is you cause it because you keep on pleading unnecessary things upon your life. The Bible states, for this cause, anyone eat of his body and drink of his blood unworthily. That means you did not know the cause of eating of his body and drink of his blood, you shall pay the price. And paying the prices unto death. That's why people are dying every day. I want all of our Jamaican people, near and far, wide, and all around the world America, Canada, Europe, Japan, all around the world, Italy, wherever you are in the world, Christian people, Christian family, start to seek the power of God. Start to seek the presence of God and stop plea blood that don't make sense upon your life because if the blood of Jesus was so powerful, Corona couldn't destroy none of us in this moment. Pastors are dying. Members of the church are dying. Intercessors are dying. Powerful intercessors drop dying. And you're saying the blood of Jesus work. Where is the blood now? Is it that the pastor have it into a jar in his office? Is it that the, the bishop had it for him and his family? Where is the blood now? Please take time to seek God for yourself. Discern carefully. Know God for yourself is very important. And stop taking here is so, here is so from other people. I read the Bible every day, but I make sure I also read the Bible that God placed in my head every day. So I read the manly Bible and I read the spiritual Bible and the mystery Bible to make sure that I get the full power from Almighty God. The truth cannot release upon this earth. It will destroy the world and destroy mankind. And people will turn against the true man of God. Because the truth will scratch you. The truth will cause you to get angry and cross and miserable. Because all your life you live to see the blood of Jesus. Wait with faith. Wait for years. Wait for months. And nothing happened. 100% of the angels of God are angry with Christian generation. 100%. And because of that, Christian generation are the most poor and pauperized set of generation upon the earth. The drugs man are enjoying life. The rich man are enjoying life. And God choosing generation are suffering, can get a job, can find food, can take care of their children, can get to send the child to university. Why? Because they're pleading and applying something to their life that is not necessary. Why Christian people are so foolish? Why are they so ignorant? Why they cannot see that God is not dead? Why can't you know wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for yourself? Why can't you know that if the devil were so powerful to kill the Almighty God, then the devil would be God? Does it make sense to know that the awesome, sovereign, mighty, absolute Savior were killed by a devil? And you run with all that theory and believe all of that was true. I have a friend of mine that helped me along my journey, helped me not to put myself in the arms way. And he's right in front of me. He's old Cyrus. And I want all of you to say hello to Cyrus. Cyrus is 362 years old. I believe he's the only one in Jamaica 
the only one that can destroy Karuna within seconds. Karuna is a deadly Jezebel woman. They call it COVID-19. A disease that hit in the world. But we have something more dangerous than COVID-19. Old Cyrus, he's an old man. He don't talk, he don't walk. He don't keep friends. If you open him right now, what happens is you cause it. Old Cyrus is 362 years old. Cyrus don't like anyone talk bad against him. I only open Cyrus when I'm into a judgment situation. Cyrus live in the woods, many miles in the wood. We have to go for him, taking days to reach him. After we reach him, he come up upon this earth. We, we talk to him in our atmosphere. After one, two or three hours, we send him back where he come from and you'll never see Cyrus again until something happen again. Until the next judgment call, we call in Cyrus. Cyrus is our reserve soldier. It's like our reserve generator. When JP is plug out, we plug him in. The Cyrus. When something going on in the country, the army would call their reserve soldier for backup. So Cyrus is my reserve soldier. So when the church is under attack, I find old Cyrus, 362 years old Cyrus, a man that don't like when you speak against the knowledge of God. Cyrus work in moments and Cyrus don't work with fit. Cyrus is a man of ages, a man of the forever century, forever God, a man of all time. He's getting a little old and that's why he look like this. But nevertheless, we'll pull him together. But we love Cyrus. He make things happen when we want it to happen. Cyrus never fail us. Just like the power of God that worked through Cyrus never fail his people. I want to take you a, a step beyond of the beyond. 99.9% .9 of our pastors, our prophets, elders, evangelists have never preached or prayed to God once. Never. None of you Christian people I love you, I believe in you, I care for you, but I have to tell you the truth and just look through what I'm saying. Just don't believe what I'm saying just like that, but sit down, meditate, and just look through what I'm saying. You are a pastor for 30 years, 25 years, 40 years, but you never talk to God once. Only person you pray to and talk to is the great ancestors. The ancestor gods that live in the spiritual world. You have the natural God, the spiritual God, and the mystery God. Your Father, the Almighty, everlasting. The spiritual world is a change world. Not a die world. It's a change world. So you change from a caterpillar to a butterfly is a change world. The combination of change have been manipulated from knowledge. So mankind have to go to a stoplight called death before you transfer back to life. But it wasn't so in the beginning or before the beginning when Cyrus arrived. In the olden days, you change like Enoch, Elisha, all these men, they change. Today, I demonstrate to you a caterpillar change to be a butterfly. Butterfly change to be a bigger bat. A bigger bat change to be a green lizard. A green lizard change to be a bird. They call it a robin redbreast. All of them change. Human being was made to change. That's why the Bible speak one of the most important truth. You said, I come for you to have life and have it more abundantly. That means you have life to change more abundantly in different forms. The natural world, they place you to die. So when you die, then you change to the spiritual world. 
the Bible manipulated the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of God so you don't pass his spiritual world. So because you have a knowledge and a head, a brain, as a spiritual man, so you believe that God is a spirit. So you start to praise God, Holy Spirit God and Holy Ghost God. God is not the Holy Spirit and God is not the Holy Ghost. So 40 years of your life you were preaching about the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. You were preaching about ancestors. That's why your prayer takes so long to answer. Because it's the ancestors answering you. And when the ancestors answer you in their own language and you don't understand, then they will vision you or dream you and show you what is going on. So 100%, I would say, of our pastors and prophets of this nation have never talked to God once. That's why the Bible speaks another truth, which is true. He said, you heal the sick in a name. You heal the blind, the crippled, the dumb in a name. But I don't know you. You never called to me. It's not me heal them through. You heal them through the ancestors. So he said, I don't know you. Go back to who you were praying to for 40 years. Go back to who you were preach you were worshiping, you were calling up for 40 years. I don't know you. All of the time that you were calling up on the, the, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, you were calling up ancestors. Ancestors and the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost are people who die and live in this spiritual life. They know mighty things. They know awesome things. So they form like God. They talk to you like God. They will show you things like God. So you will believe it is God. After you leave this spiritual life, which the Bible don't give you access to, but I am giving you access to it because I have my friend Cyrus who helped me to get my combination and my access to the, the, the brother world, the brother picture of life. After you leave the spiritual world, you go to a next level. The combination is very, very classified. You go to a next level you call eternity. Eternity is where God placed the spirit to form body to enter his kingdom. So for you to enter the kingdom of God, which is this kingdom, you have to go through eternity. Eternity, you walk in the water, the spirit and the blood. After you pass through eternity, the water, the spirit, and the blood, the doctor also give a recommendation. He said if the baby don't have water around the head or around its body, it will be suffocated and die because it have to go through the water, the spirit, and the blood to enter the kingdom or to inherit the kingdom of God. So after you go through eternity, through the water, the spirit, and the blood, the water bursts after a couple of months, then you, the matter bursts the water through the power of Almighty God, then you enter the kingdom of God. So the truth of the fact, you're not trying to go to heaven. You have already entered through the water, the spirit, and the blood. So you are now in heaven. You're in paradise. But generation after generation destroy paradise and turn it into earth. So God people have been manipulated, going through long suffering, torment, poverty, spirit. Uh, also here a preacher said, Jesus bear the cross, so we have to bear the cross too. So all of you have a cross. There have a time when some church give everyone t-shirt with cross to wear to make sure you don't escape of the sufferation. Paul is a wicked man. Also, he never exists, but they use him as a theory in the Bible to say he said this and he said that God said this and God said that. But the truth of the fact, Paul never exists. But Paul speak of a truth that he write what he hear. He don't know it of a fact. It's what he hear he write. So there's a level past eternity you call forever. 
Forever is the place of mystery. It's the next level that's not even close to hear the voice of God, but close to change in ants. When you go in forever, you're shaking our flesh. You're moving from flesh. You're also moving from spirit. You're no more spirit and you're no more flesh. So once you move from earth to spirit and from spirit to eternity, then after eternity, you're no more flesh and blood. You're no more spirit. You start to change in mysteries. You're getting closer to nature, but you're not nature. After you leave forever, you go to a next level that you call everlasting. Everlasting is the mystic level. A mystic level that don't have voices. Mystic level that don't work with letters or words, sentence, don't work with forgiveness, don't work with faith. A mystic level is a appearance level. Things appear, appear, appear. After you live forever, then you start to step in the glory. The glory is where the first prophet appear upon the earth. They call Jesus, but his name is different elsewhere. So after you pause everlasting, you go to a level called Sunday time. Sunday time is the first level where the prophet of God appear upon the earth called Jesus. So everything about Jesus is appearance, not born, not beginning, not ending, just appearance. So the Bible says Jesus appeared upon the water. Jesus appeared to his disciples. Jesus appeared. Everything about Jesus is appearance. As I said before, his name is different elsewhere because his true name will cause dangerous things to happen upon the earth. So we cannot release the true name of Almighty Son of God. So Jesus is not the Holy Spirit. Jesus is nature of life. So in everlasting, passing everlasting, go to the levels of the prophet called Jesus, that also where a true man of God get his seed from. They call him Selassie. Selassie was a powerful, awesome serving man upon the earth. But these people, wicked people, wicked Rasta men, caused Selassie to die. Selassie was saying to these men, I am not God. Don't worship me as God. I am a true son of God, a mighty prophet. But they keep on to go around the world telling people Selassie is God and let people get bad minds, Selassie, and boom, down. Destroy him. But Selassie is not dead. Selassie is still roaming in power, in awesomeness, in gloriness. And I believe to myself that a percent of Selassie is working through Muta Baruka. And why I know a percent of Selassie is working through Muta Baruka? The wisdom and power of Selassie will ignite you to connect to the soil, which is nature, without shoes. The wires of the mystery lies within your hands and your feet. If you look, you see the marks. It's not just marks. There are wires that connect with the mystery. These wires help to reprogram your body. Once you use honey on your feet, honey on your hand, and then place your feet in the earth, the radiation of nature start to flow virtue through your hands and feet to your cells, your body, and immediately start to reprogram your body. If you don't do it correctly as according to how the nature authorizes you to do it, immediately nature 
will release virtue too much to your body and you will start to vibrate. That means you start to sneeze. It's a sign that virtue is flowing too powerful to your body. It must flow at a certain temperature. If you take off your shoes right now and place your hot feet on the ground, nature will immediately start to release virtue to your body, but it's not supposed to release like that. That's why people will start to sneeze. They will catch flu, they will catch something like whatever cold. Why? Because nature must flow to a certain temperature. Seen Muta Baruka walk and the earth without shoes is a sign that nature is giving him powerful knowledge because every time you reprogram your body upon the earth with wires nature gives you more knowledge than you ever discern or even desire to have so i go back to sunday time where the first prophet jesus christ called Jesus upon the earth, but his name is different elsewhere. Selassie also have a different name that I will not speak upon this atmosphere. And we have other great men of God that flow through sunday time. Sunday time is nature. That's where Jesus said, I am the glory. I don't need flesh and blood to worship me because where I come from, is sticks and stones worship me sticks stones and dirt worship me so i am nature nature worship me i am the glory so god give mankind glory god no need glory from you god no need worship from you because god is glory god give you glory so people will honor you and respect you but because we so foolish and we don't have en enough knowledge, we say we give the Lord all the glory and all the honor. When it's you who should receive the glory and the honor because God give it to you for people to honor you and respect you. So you have honor, dominion and power upon the earth. So Sunday time is where you hear the first voice of God. That's where the voice of God start to whistle through natural life. After you pass Sunday time, you start to go where the presence of God is, but not where God is. The presence of God is called diverse manner. Diverse manner is only dangerous prophet walk in those places. Is only dangerous prophet. The voice of God is omnipresent. That means the voice of God speak and live there for the prophet to receive it. So before the prophet enters Sunday time to go through diverse manner, the voice of God is waiting for him to receive it not God most of you speak that oh your God speak to me I I see the Lord and I, God do not approach to you his voice is his presence and if you take my instruction you have some plane they will leave the airport and reach Montego Bay and is when they reach America, you hear the, the sound of the plane in Montego Bay. That time the plane had already passed five minutes ago. But the plane is faster than its sound. That's how the voice of God works. The voice of God is so awesome that God is more swifter than his voice. That when you hear the voice of God, God have already passed five years ago. God is more than five years before his voice. So if God is so awesome and so powerful and live before his voice, his omnipresence is not possible for someone to fight against him. There was a theory saying that there was war in heaven. It's a lie. The voice of God is too dangerous for war to come against his voice, much less to come against God. 
God don't need angels to fight for him. The voice of God is too powerful, too awesome for angels to fight for him. They don't need angels. If you go to 75% of our Christian generation, you'll see a, a calendar with a cross on it. Signifying that the blood of Jesus aligned to every doors and every walls and window of this house. Take them down. Take down every cross in your house and put up the presence of God. Everything that move upon this earth move by the presence of God, not blood. The sacrificial world come to mighty sacrifice. And these great men that controlling the earth and commanding God people are dangerous men. I'm not against them. I'm against you who act like a foolish person. That when a wise man come to give you wisdom, knowledge and understanding, you push him aside and say he's not good. But take up the curse and hold it in your hand. A friend of mine also speak that they give you a bottle called vegetable oil. I've never seen any vegetable make oil. So how would the oil come out of the vegetable? So I want to introduce to you a man that we have a little talk with and I will let you listen to him. Let you hear his comment on the vegetable oil and the corona and hear what he have to say. No, we want to start with this. We want to let people know that there are virus in the elements. Okay, there are virus in the element. No, but these viruses that are in the element, they, they are not programmed to attack a human or attack animal. What they would do is like, for example, if you have a, a, a dog and that, that the dog die or something, they, the odor from the stink, from the death, the stinkness, those viruses would convert them back into nature. That is what they're there for. Now, what they did was they capture one of these virus and they amalgamate human substance in it or animal substance to change the programming of the virus. So it no longer is going to convert bad, bad smell. Mm -hmm. Wait, I will do now. It's going to attack a human or it's going to attack an animal. Now, in order to get it around the world, you would have to drop it at every airport around the world. You can't do it in China and then it leave out of China. And then the world is big, you know, it will take a hundred and hundred years to travel around the world, you know. It can't spread so fast. The only way to do it is that you'd have to drop it at every airport, right? Mm -hmm. And then people pick it up and, and, and transport it, transmit it, and mm -hmm. transport it right across the entire world. As so it go. Anyways, let's get back to this point now. Yes. When the virus hit the body, enter the body, the first thing is, you know, is the T-cell that release first, you know. The T-cell release, and what the T-cell do, the T-cell look at the predator. If the predator is too complex for the T-cell, the T-cell will send a message back to the brain and the brain will allow the B-cell from the bone marrow to release. Now, the unique difference between the T-cell and the B-cell is that the B-cell has seven jumping gene that it can make any chemical that it wants to make. So by, by looking at the virus, it, it examines the virus, right? And then it's gonna put together a chemical to kill the virus and it will shoot it and automatically kill the virus mm -hmm. the most i make the immune system out at 360 degree that means it make outside of 360 degree well, anything a man make he has to make it within the range of 360 degrees so the immune system can kill anything that you put together mm -hmm. what it is is that they're giving us food like um things like when them say vegetable oil now look how they do this thing now they have a chain of pharmacy a chain of doctor a, a morgue they have all of these things so they're going to give you a thing like vegetable oil now and uh, which vegetable make oil? <laughs> no, one pop chow is already fifty dollars. Four pop chow is two hundred dollars, and you can buy a bottle of oil for two hundred and sixty dollars. You tell me, say four pop chow full up that bottle of oil. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some of the tricks that they play to get you ill. So you have to go to the doctor. You see, and then the doctor gets a job, the hospital gets a job, the pharmacy gets a job. Says so this thing is all orchestrated, man. 
It's all orchestrated. And, they, and this thing them have you wearing a, a mask on your face. Let me tell you something, see. A virus can go through a glass. Don't kid yourself. Mm -hmm. a, a listen, when a virus eats your skin, anywhere it touches your skin, it goes right inside of you. It not go trouble to come up on your nose. Look, a mask has got pores in it, you know. If you hold it up in the sun and look at it, it's pores in there. The virus is way smaller than that. So how a mask is going to stop a virus like that? No, you're talking and spit up into this virus and, and all of this, all of this, your mouth is, they, look, your mouth has more bacteria mm -hmm. than your rectum. And by you talking and spitting up into this virus, into this mass, you're encouraging the virus, because virus and bacteria are good friends, right? And then you're breathing oxygen and giving off carbon dioxide, which is a, which is a byproduct that's supposed to leave the body. Mm -hmm. And this, this is in, in, inhaling inhaling back in the system so all your, your 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 blood vessels and everything is consists of carbon dioxide so your body is not equipped to respond to a viral attack it cannot spontaneously respond to a viral attack because there's too much carbon dioxide in your blood vessels oh so because the mass prevent you from taking in the fresh air for the help um, the immune system to attack the virus well yes well you see normally when air gets inside the lung it creates a combustion you have to get a volume of hair inside the lung for it to create a combustion and that combustion is to purify the blood so when when you have the mask in your face you're not getting the volume of air to create the combustion so they know what they're doing so the blood is gone and impurified <laughs> So I, I want to tell you, when America or North Korea is at each other, you will see North Korea sought to show a glimpse, clips of his power, of his defense that he have. America will show also his clips of all his defense, his machines, his war power that they have so when the church is under attack we need to show the devil some of what we have that's why i i go for one of my defense cyrus i tell you before cyrus is 362 years old cyrus make a lot of enemies cyrus never have one friend all his enemies are dead none of Cyrus enemies is alive not even one I've never seen Cyrus so angry because Cyrus don't like when no one come against the power of God he is a man of ages life were given unto us over a billion years ago what we done with it most of us take life and we use it to destroy other people's life. When you should use it to build other people's life, so life continues to flow upon the earth. But no, you destroy people. There is a video that's going on that a prophet of God is a deportee from Canada. And I have drugs case and all of that in Canada. Look at a prophet of God. I don't travel. I don't believe in traveling. I don't leave Jamaica. Most of the these enemies, they don't know where I come from. They don't know where I grew up. Some say I'm from Africa. Some say I'm from Canada. Some say I'm from America. Some say he, he sound like he's from British. So they don't know where I'm from. So they start to speculate, give names, find the digging finding whatever garbage they pick up i also see persons come to church asking if the prophet have a wife at the church where his family where his children my family is a mystery i don't expose my family to the world because i know what i'm gonna face tomorrow so it's very hard to know my family, very hard to know my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my wife, our children, because I don't push them in the natural world to get hurt. I keep them in shadows and keep them safe and secure while I fight for God's people. And God is not the author of confusion. And everything I do, I do it before time. 
because I prepare for the worst to come. I walked five miles in the desert to find Cyrus, to bring him here this morning, to show you I have many defense. Just move one page of Cyrus and what happened is you cause it. Just one page of Cyrus and what happened, circumstances will happen. And when circumstances appear, what happened is you cause it. Never fight against a power that you don't know. Never fight against God that you truly don't know who is him. I am a true man of God. I help thousands of God people daily take God people out of poverty, take God people out of wicked people hands. Our church have a powerful charity group that we, we usher our generation in shelter, in clothing, in work, in, 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 in so much things. You cannot hungry come into our church. If you check our talk shop right now, you have fridge packed with meat stuff to give to our people. And we're not talking about any chicken back. We're talking about we have mutton, we have we have cow meat, we have chicken, fish, all kind because we respect God generation and God people are not sinners. God people are peculiar people. Chosen generation set apart from the rest. So if you if you treat God people like God, God will also treat you like himself. And that's why our ministry are flowing so far and so wide because we're helping the needy. We're helping the helpless. We're helping persons who don't have nowhere to live, who don't have no job, who don't, who don't see themselves going further in life. We open doors for them to go further. So this is an awesome ministry, a very powerful ministry. And we make sure that we leave no stones and turn all of God's people that walk in with a big cross on their shoulder. We tear it off and we give them a bright future. Take off the burden that you're walking with and give you happiness, joy, peace that lasts forever. I want to look back at the Bible, at the Bible state that the light of the world is Jesus. My daughter and my son, the light of the world is God. You have two way before you as the Bible says, but it's not true. There's many way before you, but I'll speak of the two that they're talking, hell and heaven. You have thousands of angels put the life on the line to work for God people. And God said, and you have thousands of angels of the devil put the life on the line waiting to work for God people. So you have the devil angels and you have God angels. Now every word you speak out of your mouth a chuck an angel. So you wake up this morning, you say, I was born in sin and shaping iniquity. Immediately an angel from a devil side say, oh, they're talking about us. Let us go for him. And they start to put you in the presence of darkness because you speak where you're coming from. Then you speak, I have no job, nothing I'll go on, time tough. Then the angels of tough time immediately come up from hell 
and start to surround you because you're calling his mission. Every negative word you speak upon your life attract a demon or it attract an angel. So it's very important in your life that you dismantle the negative thoughts, dismantle the badness that's going on around you and start to speak of the goodness of God. God is awesome. God is sovereign. God is mighty. Immediately angels from God start to come down and say, oh, this is my daughter talking about us. Let us bless her. Uh, I know God is going to provide a job for me. I know it's going to happen. Immediately angel from God start to provide a job for you because you're speaking his mission. So be careful how you speak. A prophet, Elisha, was going through the desert. He was doing his thing and some boys come out and start to speak against him and call him bald head boy. The anointing of the prophet immediately called upon nature and nature sent wolf and sought to eat up all of those guys that come against the prophet of God. So a prophet of God don't have to fight for himself. The presence upon his life fight for him. So if you want God to fight for you, you have to make sure you speak the levers and the language where God is. Never speak down on yourself. Never speak through believing. Speak through knowing. Because the truth of the fact you should know God for yourself. You should know the power that store upon your life. I ordain over 28 pastors in my ministry. Many of them became the devil. Many of them became God. I sent many of them overseas. They never come back. I helped many of them. They never return. But you will find that in the mystery. People that you care for, people that you help, you just don't want them to Oh, get great and stay around you. You want them to go out there and be great themselves. This ministry is a treasuring flow. We treasure you, we bless you, then we send you out. Go and look life. You have some churches. For 13 years, 15 years, the same person that doing the prison worship is the same person get old and still there. No one move to a next level. No one go further. No one fly out of the country. It's time we resurrect God people out of that church chair and send them all over the place. Get out of the church. If you're not growing, get to a different church. Come out and go look life. You can't just sit here for two years, three years and talk about time tough and nothing that's going on. Things always going on. It's time to wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and know that God is real. Wake up and know God is awesome. I want to place my holy anointing hand upon this Cyrus. And I want you to place your hands upon your TV. And if you want a job, wife, husband, visa, you want promotion, you want a car, a house, piece of land, whatever you desire, your healing, deliverance, miracles, whatever you're healing, whatever you want, I want you to speak it. My hands upon Cyrus is your hands upon the anointing of God. I want you to place your two hands upon your TV or your phone that's watching me right now, whatever laptop computer whatever you're watching me to i want you to place your hands right there and you want to speak what you want i want you to think about the greatness of god the goodness of god the plentiness the awesomeness the sovereignness of god as i place my holy anointing hands for you you place your hands to receive it the jobs 13 sexy for your daughter your son your nephew 
your grandchildren. Subjects, diploma, degree, PhD, tuition to be paid, debt free. Place it. I come on all police officers who is a sergeant. I promote you. I promote you to inspector. Inspector, I promote you. Let us promote some of Jamaican police officers. Manchester police officers, Central police officers, Kansas Spring, Portmore, Santa Cruz, Salvador, every parish, the 14 parish of Jamaica, let us promote you. Wherever rank you are, we're going further. We're promoting police officers, soldiers, doctors, nurses, security officers. We're promoting you. Just place your hands on your TV right now. You're next in line for this promotion. This promotion is you. Jobs released now. New jobs. New levers. New ideas. New visions. New dreams. Released upon God's people. We're causing good health. Good health. Long life. Peace. Joy. Happiness. Plenty. More than enough. I release to God's people. Who didn't have any visa. A common visa. Somebody say visa. Visa. I come on visa for you. Visa. Visa. America. Canada. England, Cayman, Trinidad and Tobago, all over the world, I release visa. I release power, the anointing of God, upon your life, upon your household, your neighbor, your family, your friends. I release great power of Almighty God. All of you who don't have a bank account, I come on bank account to release. Bank account. Be Phil. Be Phil. I walk in Jamaica, Jamaica house. And I bless our prime minister. I bless all ministers. I come on peace in the house. I bless our, our, our uh, Mr. Holness. Mr. Holness, we love you and your family. We bless you, sir. We come on power upon each and every one of us. We come on knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that our prime minister will continue to run this country in his great power as God put it upon him. I want to walk in the prison and I know a cartel is coming out. Cartel, wherever you are, pack up your clothes. You're going home. I release cartel. I release cartel from prison. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the mighty name of the idea of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of nature, in the mighty name of sun, die time, diverse manner, in the mighty name of before God, in the mighty name of life, the Father, life, the Son, and life, the Holy Spirit. Cartel, voice cartel, pack up. You're going home. Couple years after, I come on the Governor General of Jamaica. To release a next mighty man, ninja man, and reprieve. Ninja man, you're going home and reprieve. You will not die in prison. Ninja man, listen to this ninja man, you will not die in prison. You will go home alive. You will not die in prison, ninja. You will go home alive. The, the, the governor general will give you a reprieve, ninja. You will go home alive. Cartel, you will free. In the powerful name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I come on life upon Jamaica. Prosperity knowledge wisdom understanding i come on clearance for jamaican who don't have any documents overseas all jamaicans in america that don't have any documents i come on approval green card approval work permit approval i come on approval i come on approval in canada i come on approval i come on approval in england i come on approval i come on approval all over jamaican people in england in canada america cayman all around the world that don't have your documents straight i come on your documents to be straight i come on green card i come on your your your, your british passport to come alive i come on your canadian passport to come alive i come on approval 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 i come on the power that flow through this power to flow supernaturally I come on greatness, I come on success, I come on plenty, I come on more than enough. I walk in the hospital, the sick be healed, cancer cell, sickle cell, arthritis, leukemia, chest problem, heart problem, kidney problem, foot problem. I come on healing, 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 healing. Fire of the Holy Spirit through your TV right now. Fire of the Holy Spirit through your phone right now. Fire of the Holy Spirit through your laptop right now. Fire of the Holy Spirit through, through your computer right now. Come on, the anointing to flow through you right now. The anointing of God flow through you right now. Touch, 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 
touch holy power of almighty god touch the mystic akorobiki akabi yabo salada basiki okobo misa e abo zilibi ma o embasata power Almighty God, release, 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 combination, combination. You boo see, ribi sa kubaba si kili boo ja abu si misata. Combination, o kubi si you be a ko ribi sa mi mushaka. Combination, rabu si kili bi su ababa si kubu sa. Combination, rubu si kabu si ambu si. Subu Salasa. Combination. Son die time. Son die time. Order of Mel Shelly deck. Order of Mel Shelly deck. Order of Mel Shelly deck. Combination of the mystery arrive and let your people be free through the power of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All be well in His power. Take care, Jamaica. America, Canada, all around the world, be still and know that there is God. My name is Wendy Coins from Suffolk County, in New York, and um, it's just it's just greatness. It's just greatness here. I just want to thank God for Prophet Rowe. He's an awesome man of God, anointed man of God, and I just thank God today that I did get my deliverance. Thank you. God bless. Stay tuned to PGMI TV. Hello, Jamaica. This is Brother Ryan. I have found this church to be a great church. Prophet Ro has been an inspiration to my life and to many others. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to PGMI. I am from out of the parish, but I travel here almost every Wednesday to come to the fasting. I realize it's a great church prophet Ro is a great prophet he has done many things in my life and i'm so glad that he did and for that reason i am here i travel back and forth now and again thank you good afternoon everyone i'm basson mackintosh this is a church that i've been over the past and trust me this is a power pop ministry if you haven't got your deliverance and your prophecy yet along with your healing come and see prophet now i've been to this church more than once it's a great church, great deliverance um, and healing service here every Wednesday. It's a great church and I implore everyone to come in, get their, their healing and deliverance. Stay tuned to PGMI TV.